Good morning, dear students. I'm back again here with another segment from writing section, and there is letter writing. And I just hope that you're all having a good time with your family, learning, helping your parents in household chores. And overall, it must have been a memorable experience for you all during this COVID time. So today's assignment would be based on this experience. So before going on to the assignment, let me tell you all what we are going to study today. Dear ones, today, uh, you know what is letter writing? See, when it comes to writing section, dear ones, uh, you know, there are two types of letters, you know, that is one is formal letter, another is informal letter. Formal letters are those letters which generally we write as complaint letters or, or to the editors or even letters to principal. They all come in formal letter writing. But today we are going to study informal letter writing, which is, I would say that it is little easier than, you know, in, than formal. Now, informal letters are the ones which you write to your parents, to your friends, to your brother, sisters, like anything which where you discuss your, you know, your, your personal things. So uh, when it comes to the length of these letters, I would say that they little go uh, more than, you know, the limited, uh, the word limit, you know, because you are free to give expression to your, to your, to your feelings and emotions. Okay. So. Let's discuss with the format of informal uh, this letter writing. First and foremost, what we have to keep in mind, I'll, we'll discuss the structure. So structure, when we talk about the structure, the sender's address, dear ones, that should always appear on the top left corner of the page. Sender's address should always appear on the top left hand corner of the page. Now, right below the address, you have to write the date. Then you have to see, there are some children who would always ask, ma'am, do we have to leave a space or not? So dear ones, if you leave a space, it is good. Like it looks good, you know, when it comes to structure, it really appears nice. So skip a line always and write the greeting, for example, dear or hi on just of the left hand side. Okay, everything has to come on the left hand side. Now write one or two introductory lines. Now why I'm saying introductory lines? Because when you have to start a letter, uh, you know, these lines are generally very common lines like, uh, uh, how are you? I'm fine here. Um, you know, I, I hope that you all find there. So these are like kind of introductory lines, which are always the same. Now, next, write the body of the letter in the main text. So you can include as many paragraphs as you want. For each new topic, you have to have a new paragraph. Now, when I say that for each new topic means, for example, if you're talking about your, uh, say, your, your preparation study preparation then you want to talk about your family so for every new topic you have to have a new paragraph then comes to proper conclusion like conclusion is very very required like you know uh, like how you want to conclude a letter it totally depends on you uh, some of the children they say that everything is fine here convey my regards give my love so these are all concluding things now follow it up with the subscription or the complimentary close now the complimentary close when i talk about complimentary close i mean to say that uh, some of the children they they like to write about with love yours affectionately your sister your Uncle. So there are, these are different ways. It depends on whom you write in the letter and how close you are to that particular person. Now you may you may add a post uh, script also if need be. Now we call it PS. You know sometimes we miss a thing in a letter and we are reminded of it little later, like you know after having completed the letter. So what you are, you don't have to worry, sweetheart. All you have to do is write down PS. Okay, at the end of the letter you have to write PS and then you can write C. I forgot the, uh, whatever point you forgot you can mention it there. Now let's come on to the format of an informal letter. So dear ones, you all can see here this this format how you have to begin the letter this is something very very important you have to first write your address 17 Saket, new delhi you can say whatever like if you're residing at 120 sulani puram Rurki. okay then you have to write the date which date are you writing the letter is very very important so write the date then comes the salutation now salutation is my dear uncle or my dear aunt or mom or dear mom dear dad like whatever way you want to address it to then comes the body of the letter now when i finish come to this body of the letter thing means 
uh, it includes the introductory lines as well you don't have to jump on straight away to the for example if you're writing some money from your parent don't come straight away to the that mom i need 200 bucks or something no always say that mom i'm fine here hope you also fine there how's this dad they whatever like you know all these things you have to include in the introductory lines then you come to this body of the letter thing now we come then last you know these are the concluding please give my love and regards and convey this and like you know it is it depends on you how you want to conclude a letter then comes the subscription or I call it generally complimentary close. Uh, here you can write yours, uh, you know, only yours is also okay, or yours affectionately is also okay, your daughter, your son, whatever way you want to write it. Then you have to write your name and your signature. So this is the format of informal letter writing so uh, my dear children uh, once you have understood it i want to give you an assignment what you have to do is you have to go through with this format and you have to solve one question which i'm giving you right now write an informal letter to your friend uh, sharing your experience of last one month okay covid experience of last one month and submit it to me tomorrow take care you all dear ones